So here's the plan. We have a mosquito infestation, okay? And part of the mosquito infestation comes from having stagnant, still water. What we're going to do is we're going to agitate this water. So it makes it difficult for these mosquitoes to breed on our stagnant, still water. What I have here is a bubbler, industrial sized bubbler. Okay, this thing is going to provide the bubbles necessary to agitate the stagnant still water. Then we have an air hose. This here is 100 feet of sinking air hose. We're going to connect the air hose to the bubbler. Then, we've got this bad boy. The High Blow 2000. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's not the 2000, actually. It's the High Blow 80. Um, but anyway, this guy is going to sit outside the pond. It's going to feed air through the sinking line into the bubbler so that it can agitate our stagnant still water. How smooth will everything go? Probably not very. Alright, I think it's time to go get the boat. You're gonna put the rope around it? Yeah. Gotta loop it and swoop it and hoop it through this thing so we can lower it down. I know. Alright, so what's the plan, Captain? Well, the plan was to loop it through all these mm -hmm. and then drop it down and then mm -hmm. untie the rope at the top so I could just pull it out. However, however, these little guys here worry me because it seems as though they're gonna be a little bit difficult with the rope. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me test this out. So I'm pulling it out now from above the water. I don't like that. It's too hard. So what we're going to do, let's see here. How should I do this? So if we just do this, for example. Yeah. No, because then still kind of hard to pull out. That's yeah, it really got stuck. Um, okay, we need a plan here. What if you just put it underneath it and don't loop it around it? It's going to be hard to get the center so that it's flat. Well, it's going to go down. It's going to land a certain way. Here, let me try. Do one of these. No matter what, it's going to go down. Do you think so? Like this. Well, I mean, hold on. So we're lowering it down. It's got nowhere to go. And then eventually you're just going to feel it stop, right? You're going to have to stop giving the, the rope. Yeah. And then I un and I let go and pull it out. Boom. Okay, let's try you that. You didn't marry me for any other reason other than my smarts, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, that feels right. Stop moving. Which side do I put it in? This side? Probably in front, yeah. You want me to swim out there and hold the boat in place? What do you think? Is this good? Yeah. But you can't keep on moving that fast. You gotta stop the boat maybe. I can't stop it. Okay. I'm just gonna start yelling directions at him and see how he handles pressure. Babe, I'm telling you, you gotta focus. Your boat is moving. You gotta drop that in fast. It's okay, you got it. You're actually right in the center right now. Now is a good time to drop. You can do it. Is the cord tangled? <laughs> I don't think he handles pressure very well. You've got it. Uh, I think that's probably about right. What's the matter? Make sure you're level. 
Are you level? Careful, it's not a drone. Take it in slow. You can do it. Slowly. Yeah, slowly. Oh my God. You're doing good. I think this is good. This isn't a fishing trip though. Okay, a little bit faster. Is it stuck? You got it. Wow. Bring it up faster. Is it? Like the Atlantic? Deep like your feelings? Okay, we should have probably tested before. Do you want to plug it in? Okay, if I get uh, electrocuty. I think it's gaining momentum. But if that's all it is, we're in trouble. That's good enough for a bathtub. Is this it, really? It should not be. We're gonna need like... <laughs> 20 of them. Well, it was rated for like a massive pond. Really? Yeah. What do you think? Maybe it's just gaining momentum. Little pond update. So where the bubbler is, we ended up actually replacing it, the pump, for a stronger one. It was a little bit extra. So we do have the other pump, which we are going to install. So where it is, the water looks really great. And then around the edge, we're having the exact same thing happen. Last year happened again. Definitely a learning curve. That being said, we haven't taken the rake to it at all this year. We just haven't had time. So what we're gonna do is we're definitely going to invest in more pumps and we are going to have the other pump just over here. But this is our unfortunate update. Today we're going to be puttying and smoothing out all the holes from like where the vanity was. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but there was a chair rail that covered all of this blue. So in the process of taking it out, also taking out the um, built-in vanity, these massive gaping holes somehow happened. I don't know how. Dan's just really strong. So Dan's gonna work on this washroom here and do these holes. And then I'm gonna work on the other washroom, do those holes, which I'll show you guys too before I get started. But there's a bit of work, I guess, before we can actually install the vanity and stuff. I'm going to start working on this bathroom. Um, it is going to be, I think, a lot less challenging because there aren't massive holes to fill in. The vanity was attached to the wall in here as well. I actually think that's wallpaper. You can't do that! The vanity was attached to the wall here, but I'm thinking that's wallpaper, actually. I have no idea. So I'm going to have to remove that, and then I'm going to have to putty or like smooth all this stuff over. Can I see? What? I heard power tools and I wanted to make sure you were being safe. Oh yeah, of course I'm being safe. Oh wow, you've done a lot. I mean, I'm trying. Did you scrape all these down first to try to get rid of the... Yes, I did. Oh, okay, nice. Um, so I'm gonna see what it looks like after we sand it. Oh, good. Good yeah. job. So it's getting there. Okay, so the room with the tile on the wall has been officially primed. And behind the light is the one spot that I didn't get. I couldn't squeeze back there with the roller. All right, we've got some progress. So this is the mud room. We've done one coat of primer and by we, I mean Dan. And we're gonna go in with our first coat of paint, which will be white because this area window. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping it nice, light, bright and airy. And then here's the bathroom, which will also be white and crisp. What wasn't shown on video is that I also installed a toilet masterfully. Take it for a chest spin. Maybe off camera. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>